All right, good morning, guys. We're here eight days out at Destination Dallas. We're coming to see Branch. Uh, he's gonna meet us up here in the next 15, 20 minutes. Uh, have a look at me, see what the low day did to me, um, and probably have another low day. That's the plan, uh, but we'll just kind of play things tentatively on how I look. So things are like we talked about yesterday and you'll get to see, uh, we talked to Branch and like he said, we're ready. Um, now it's just a matter of coasting this plane in and kind of easing things in nice and easy. So body feels good. Uh, the low day, I dropped a couple pounds. So right now I am 239. Yesterday I was 241.8. So we got a couple pound drop uh, from the low day. Uh, you know, like I've showed you guys before and you've seen this low day in past YouTube videos, uh, but it's just pretty much all pro veg all day long. Uh, we did keep the fats in yesterday. So my breakfast was the steak and one egg. And then I had some two whole eggs at the end of the night with the 25, uh, 25 carbs from oats. So just a 25 carb per day versus, um, you know, the 350 of the regular. And we dropped about three or four pounds. I really like the look this morning. It's a little tighter, a little better, uh, but we'll see what Branch has to say. Other than that, we don't have too much planned other than to train chest today. Um, we'll get a plan with Branch as well on that, whether I'm gonna train with him or not. But we have to go pick up Ariel from the airport this afternoon and things are rolling into peak week just like we want them to. So keeping you guys along for the ride. We'll see when Branch gets here. All right, guys. So Branch is here. We're going to have a look at me um, again. Probably going to keep my physique hidden from you guys, but we'll get a couple words from him and also just get a plan. Um, like I said, we plan to do a low day but we would just want to confirm. Um, I think that this is probably my best look yet. I'm very happy with this. So maybe we do something like this in Topeak Week um, and it's something that we'll sit down and discuss and maybe we'll get the uh, chit chat on camera. So I'm gonna have him look at me and then I'll talk to you guys afterwards. <laughs> So, Branch looked at us, we got a plan for the next couple days, and now we're on our way home. But first, we're gonna stop in here at Walmart and just pick up a few things that I need, uh, last minute things, and then I'm pretty much done going to the store. So, first things first, Epsom salt. As you guys know, I do the Epsom salt bass every night. I have eight days. I think I have a bag at home. So I'm gonna get three bags here. Um, and I can do an Epsom salt bath almost every night. I probably won't do one on Friday night uh, because of the tan, uh, but I'll do one almost every other night. So have that ready to go. And then we go get some groceries. So after talking with French, today is another low day. We're gonna keep the fats in. Um, we don't really have much more body fat to push off, so we just don't want to let my physique go too flat. But we're going to go down for another day, uh, then we'll fill back up over the weekend. Uh, then we will deplete again for a couple days, and then we start filling up for the show on peak week. So, kind of got a tentative plan here. Um, like I said, we don't really need too much groceries. You guys already know I get all my protein from Mega Fit. Um, so we just get a couple more carbs, get some veggies for today, especially it being a low day, I'm pretty hungry. Um, and otherwise, we're set. So I'm gonna train at Arlington today. We're gonna do chest over there at the original Metroflex with Brian and hopefully Branch. Branch is supposed to let me know in the next hour or so if we can train over there or if he can make it to train over there. But I'm gonna train over there so that I can zip off just from there and go get Ariel from the airport. So after we get back from Walmart, we're gonna make the meal, uh, most of our meals for the day. And we are going to get ready for an adventure to go to Arlington. Um, it is about a 50 minute drive. It's kind of a trip to go over there and that's why I don't go over there every day. But I think that environment is very, very important these last few days 
and we want to make sure that we have everything be perfect for this peak week and finishing things off strong. So we're going to go over to Arlington today. But we're going to zip over, get some rice cakes, get some stuff for Brick, because I know he's been eating up all the eggs. So we need that. Um, I need some lemon juice and a few other things. Um, and as we get going here, I'm sure Brick will ask me a few questions on what we, why or why we're getting that or whatever. So just go along with the ride. All right, guys, gonna get some caramel rice cakes. I know I have chocolate at the house. I don't really eat chocolate right now. I've just been enjoying the caramel ones. I know Brick ate some of my caramel ones yesterday, so I'm gonna get them. Even though I don't get carbs today, it's always nice to make sure to have them stocked up. So, we'll get those. Go over here and get some eggs. I'm gonna get Brick egg blend because he eats way more eggs than I do. I'm gonna get these ones because these are my favorite for myself. All right, snagging some lemon juice, guys. You already know. I put that in my morning drink. You've seen it a thousand times. If you haven't, go back and watch one of the day in the life of eating. Uh, I do this every morning, you guys know. So um, very important for digestion and just balancing the pH of the stomach. So get some of that. Let me check my list and make sure what else I need. I actually need rice as well. I know I'm getting low at the house, so I'll grab a bag of rice. Get some veggies, so I'll probably get some mushrooms, some onions. I got onions at the house actually, so I'll probably get some mushrooms, some bell peppers. Um, some zucchini possibly and then just kind of look around and get a couple other things so with the low day today I definitely gonna need some veggies just really hungry um, so I'm gonna eat eat up a little bit today with veggies just to fill the void somewhat so mushrooms We'll get a thing of portobellas that are sliced already because I'm lazy and don't want to slice them right now. Then I'll just get a trio of bell peppers. Um, this way it's just easy. I can, comes in a pre-packaged thing. That's plenty of bell peppers for the week. Um, and then we'll just get some zucchini. So. I have some broccoli at the house, but broccoli kind of makes my stomach a little angry, so I probably won't eat too much broccoli right now. Um, but I might pick up some of them green beans, as they look good. So, a couple of zucchinis here. I just try to look for ones that aren't too bruised up and too beat up, um, and decent sized, and somewhat firm. You don't want them squishy. So I got four of those. That should get me through today and probably a little bit of, of the next low day that I have coming up. Um, and then I guess I'll get some of these green beans, which will really be all I need for veggies now. Um, you know what? Instead of this, instead of green beans, I'm going to get some asparagus. Um, so we'll definitely be eating some of that into peak week. So I'll get two of those. Um, and we can eat some asparagus instead. I might get the green beans as well, but I feel like it's a pretty big bag of green beans. I don't know if I'll go through it all, so. Get some asparagus for sure. We'll get, we'll get two bundles of asparagus. Um, and then we'll probably have to do one more store run before the show. 
Uh, maybe even just to get some goodies, to be honest, or some snacks. Because um, I haven't really bought anything post-show. I haven't even really thought about that, honestly. Um, that's not on my mind. It's not about winning. I got a champion's mentality right now, and the goal is to win the show. That's it. Got everything we need. We'll do some self-checkout and get out of here. Um, as far as how I feel and how everything is going, I feel, like I said, I feel like everything is just going as planned. So, and enjoy this ride and just enjoy the process the next few days. So when I do my bagging, I like to actually like self-checkout a little bit because I can bag the stuff how I want it and put stuff together how I want it. Um, and I'm kind of picky about that. So I like the things to be bagged Select together. that we got these asparagus all of our veggies in one we'll put all of our rice cakes in one So it seems like every time I go to the grocery store, I can never get out of the grocery store without spending about a hundred bucks. So we'll see where we're at today, but I bet it's pretty close to that. Seems like even if I need only one thing, I end up spending a hundred dollars when I leave here. So we'll put these and this this and the egg whites together. And the rest of it will just gun. So. Two, three. Oh, look at that. 99.93, not quite $100, but darn close. So. Don't be a bodybuilder unless you want to spend a lot of money. This ain't a cheap sport, that's for darn sure. All right, guys, so let's head home and get a meal in. I'm starving. Um, I won't lie. If you can see, bricks over my shoulder here. These by BSN are stupid good. Uh, no affiliation with BSN, but definitely like these protein bars. Can't wait to eat something like that. Post show, I will eat a cookie and maybe a protein bar. And then we gotta get back on the plan for the Arnold UK. But putting these groceries up, like I said, we didn't have too many groceries. We got some egg whites for brick. I'm not eating those right now. Um, we got some lemon juice for myself, like I told you guys, for digestion. Water flavoring, just because I'm lazy and don't like water, helps me be able to do that. Drink enough water, I guess. We got eggs for me and eggs for Brick. 
We got jasmine rice. And we got a big bag of veggies. So I'm going to get this stuff put away and I'm going to start cooking. Um, I have made rice with you guys before, but we might give you guys a quick lowdown on that as well as while I'm cooking my veggies and kind of do that. And then otherwise, guys, we're going to get food ready for the day and get ready to go over to Arlington, which I don't think you guys really want to see a whole bunch of me making a bunch of chicken and veg meals. So we probably won't keep you along for that, but we'll get a couple things made for breakfast here. We'll talk with you guys a little bit and then we'll see you guys in Arlington. So get these put away. We'll talk with you in a minute. All right, y'all, eight days out. We're at Metro Flex Original in Arlington, Texas. Branch is on his way. We're about to get some chest in. So if you already know, all the original chest machines in here. Uh, this is one of my favorite places to train chest. And we're gonna get into it old school style, just like we always do. Uh, we're gonna pull back things just a little bit, just like you've seen me do with everything. So just really strict form these next couple days. Uh, really pumping things up, really push the volume kind of high, uh, but just trying to avoid injury and being smart, uh, especially with these low days. I don't have any water on the joints or anything like that, pretty dried out, so really have to be smart today. Uh, but just pushing, grinding, getting this last little bit of body fat off me before we get ready to go into this peak week. So super excited, guys. Bring you guys along, so let's get after it. kind of where I need branch because I don't want to pull back. Realistically, I want to do the like 160s or 200s, but I know that's stupid. So I asked him what I think I should do. He said, do the 120s and then we'll touch maybe something a little heavier after I feel this and decide how my elbows and shit feel. So smarter, not harder right now. We're really close. We need to be really smart. So there you have it, a chest day with my man, Branch Warren, hero and all. So guys, just a little bit about this session, what it means to me to be training over here at the original Metroflex. Man, uh, you know, Branch is my hero. Ronnie's one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. I watch every one of his videos of him training with Brian. And uh, man, I, I've just immolated this Texas hard work my whole life in bodybuilding. And uh, it means the world to me to be here, man. So Branch started here when he was 17 and you could see him progress over the years to become one of the best bodybuilders of all time, uh, both on the stage and off the stage, man. And I look up to him so much. So for me to be able to be training here with him, my hero, uh, for him to be my friend or my peer, if you will, my coach um, and be pushing me and believe in me like he does, man. Uh, this means the world to me, guys. Uh, 
if I wasn't so close to show, I'd probably cry. Uh, but I don't have too many emotions other than I want to win this show more than anything in the world. So, uh, man, this, this means the world to me. Uh, I can't thank Branch enough. Thank you guys for following along, liking, subscribing, and sharing this, and being a part of the journey, guys, because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to do this, and this journey wouldn't be worth sharing. So thank you. Um, we're going to pose. We're going to eat a post-workout, and we're going to go get Ariel. Um, we're going to take you guys along for the ride to go get Ariel and all that good stuff. So I'll see you then when I'm about to eat my post-workout meal. But for now, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go get naked and pose in the middle of the gym. Peace. All right, guys. There you have it. Eight days out, uh, full day. So uh, we went and picked up Ariel from the airport. And I'm not going to lie, I slept in the car like the whole time. So Brick drove. We picked up Ariel. I gave her a kiss. She got in the car. <laughs> and I think I made it about two minutes before we left the airport before I was sleeping all the way home. So this low day has definitely kicked my butt. Uh, I've been lazy since we've got home, just chilling, eating these pro veg meals. I get 25 carbs here before bed, um, and then we get a high day tomorrow. But you guys get to follow along for that. We're going to go to branches and first thing in the morning, um, and you guys get to go along for the ride just like always. So thanks for following along. Like, subscribe, all that cool YouTube stuff. Um, but just so you guys know, the one and only is here, Miss Fitness International. To help take care of me um, so if you haven't go check out all of her stuff and she's a big help to me so she'll be a huge part of this for the next eight days making sure that I'm taken care of and making sure that my life is easier um, she knows what it's all about and what it's like to be one of the best in the world and she's gonna help me be able to do that hopefully so appreciate her being here otherwise guys thanks for tuning in and following along and we'll see you again for the next day in the life of seven days out tomorrow so Peace.